Hi guys, welcome back to another video of P Blogs. Today we are going to learn how to make a low poly car. So let's just get started with it. Press A, X, and then delete everything. Go to the front orthographic view. That is one. Uh, press Shift A. Take a cube. Where's the cube? So here we've got the cube. Press 1 again for the front orthographic view. Go to edit mode. Press command R so that you can dissect the entire cube into half like this. Okay. Press control R again and dissect it vertically now. Select all the vertices. Uh, make sure that you are in the x ray mode. Select all the vertices on your left side and then delete them. Select all the vertices on the right side, go to the add modifier and then add mirror modifier to it. So here we have the cube which is duplicated on both sides so that we can have equal shapes on each side because uh, a car is always uh, symmetrical. So select the two points at the bottom to so exclude them on the y axis so that is E and Y. Drag them, select the two vertices on your right hand side exclude them this is gonna be the back bonnet so here we've got a simple model of the car let's add more details to it uh, let's just give it some more detailing with some bevel on the tops for beveling you just need to uh, select the top left edge over here uh, press command B so that is bevel you can increase or decrease the bevel by just scrolling up and down on your mouse Now, let's try beveling the sides too. So you'll have some kind of disturbance which causes the vertices to just go inwards. Just press G and X and then pull it out. So there you have that bevel. Uh, as you can see the mid portion of the car is down so you just have to press again G, Z so that you can bring it on the top. We've got that over there. Bonnet also needs to go on top. So G, Z. So there that is. All the mirrors are always a little tilted right so let's just tilt that select all these vertices over here so that we can just move it and then it becomes tilted that's good over there so we've got a basic pretty good model of a low poly car now we have to make the headlights the rear and the front bumper the rear backlights so let's do that so for making the headlights press 3 for the right orthographic view press uh, shift a go to cylinder make sure it is low poly just make it to 10 scale it down rotate it on x axis 90 degrees uh, go to the top orthographic view, get the cylinder right to the front. So now I just want it to be more smoother on the front, so I'm gonna bevel it like that. So for the front bumper, we are just gonna take a cube, go to edit mode, go to the front orthographic view, bisect the cube into two delete the left two vertices select the, all the vertices on the right mirror the option and then select the right vertices drag it press G X and then drag it like that and go to the top orthographic view press 7 and go to the top orthographic view exclude the following vertices 
and then shape it as a bumper. Extrude it if you want, bigger bumper. Okay, that's done. So select all of it, try beveling it. Control B is bevel. Okay, so we're done with the front bumper. Oh, it's too big for the car, so just go on the top view. Select the bumper, scale it down, and then move it on the Y axis. Scale it up on the X axis a little bit, and then just drag it down. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good, right? Duplicate the same thing. Duplicate it. Rotate it on X axis, X 180. And then G, Y, and then just move it over here on the rear. So we're done with the front and the rear bumper. There we have the rear bumper too. Now let's make wheels for our little car over here. So press Shift A, take a cylinder, go to the front orthographic view. We've got the cylinder over here. Okay, go to edit mode, scale it down a little bit, bevel the edges. Okay, select these center faces and go to uh, how do you select all the faces at just press alt or option and then select one of it so all the corresponding faces will also be selected just go to select over here select check a select and then all these you know alternative selections will be done uh, press uh, right click and then you'll find extrude along the faces there you go that looks pretty good go to edit mode again let's try making the rims uh, so this is gonna be our rim face insert it by pressing i and then move this face uh, x-axis insert it again press option and select the, the rim over here and then go to checker select and then delete these faces so there we have a rim. Exclude this middle portion. Exclude all these two so that it looks it has a little bit of mass and then scale it down. And there you go. You've uh, made a wheel right over there. That was pretty simple I guess. Go to face, select this, select the back portion and then just delete the face. We don't want that. Okay, so we're done with the wheel. Okay, place it a little down over here. There you go. That looks pretty good, right? So we need to uh, make a hole in the cube right now. So for, for that, what we need to do is just press Shift A, select a cylinder, and then rotate it on Y axis. Scale it down and then scale it up a little bit so that you know so that this matches. Move it right on top of the wheel over here. And select the car, go to add modifiers, select boolean over here, select boolean and then drag this boolean option on the top. Select object, select the cylinder as the object and then press apply so your cylinder should be applied and then you should have this kind of empty space over here uh, repeat the same process for the rear wheel too so we're done we're done with almost everything over here modeling the car we just left with the back headlights for that press 7 
press shift a take a cube or whichever sh uh, shape that you want uh, for your backlights scale it down just place it right over here that looks pretty neat okay we need to make this face too uh, for the windows just select the side mirrors press i insert the entire thing and go to object mode again uh, we're left with one more last thing that will be the front mesh for that i'm just taking a, a cube over here press 7 kill it down completely and then just place it right next to the headlights but not too close place it down over here if you want the edges of this cooler or this mesh to be curved just press just select all the edges and then just bevel it make sure that you're duplicating your uh, headlights and your tail lights just press shift t and then move your headlights and the tail lights to the left make sure you're shifting your wheels to duplicate them by shift d and press r z 180 okay and then move it on your x axis that will be g and x there we have a low poly car in the next tutorial we're gonna color this baby up and then probably move it if you get me 10 likes on this video i'm gonna teach you how to move this car and animate it with all the camera angles that are needed so for this video this is it guys make sure that you have subscribed the channel and like share the video so that your friends can use blender as it's the most powerful tool that we have got